what's going on guys we're going to take a look at the nq we're going to go over and analyze some price action now again the nq is very very good to trade on the future side of things so a lot of you guys who are coming over trading futures uh the nq can provide you know fantastic gains the only thing that we need to be careful of on the nq is that the ranges are so big even on you know like the five minute even the two minute candlesticks um you know we have to protect ourselves so it's all about position sizing right so if you're used to trading one mini contract you know i don't really think that you can do that with great success and unless you have a very very large account and you've kind of been in this game for a, a, a long time and you're already consistent i would definitely recommend trading micros right so we're going to trade the mnq the chart's going to be the same as the nq as far as price action and candlesticks um, and I would definitely recommend start off trading two or three contracts, right? Just two or three micros is, is definitely enough. Also, one thing that I do want you guys to focus on, especially in the beginning, and I, and I tell all my traders and evolution traders who are a part of that lifetime um, community, you know, we really need to work, uh, you know, a series of trades, right? We can't just focus on, hey, this last trade that we took, we lost, or, you know, hey, I'm on a hot streak because you won two or three trades in a row. Guys, we need to do blocks of 20 trades. Um, and after we do 20 trades, we really need to analyze what we did wrong and what we did correct, and then let's go from there. So we obviously know the strategy that I teach here. It's, you know, it's, I just call them 20 plays, right? So we're looking at the 20 SMA as well as the 200. What we're looking for is short-term changes in trends, okay? So short-term changes in trends. And I wanna kind of go over this morning's price action here. So we're looking at the two minute chart here just to kind of dial down that risk. <clears throat> this morning on the live stream with the guys we did have a level right so i kind of drew in these these supply and demand zones here so you can notice the green box all i took was the lows and i took the multiple touch points here and i took the highs and multiple touch points and i kind of marked them out right so when i did that what we were realistically looking for was a break today long over 15505 15507 we got that breakout here at 724 and immediately pulled back. And one thing that I was kind of telling and stressing people on the live stream today is we were watching the five minute time frame, but we never, even on the two minute, we never broke down and closed below the 20 SMA here. So even though, yes, we did break out here and then we pulled back, we have to ha be position sized to where we can stomach that pullback because here's what happens. A lot of times traders will take the new high of day breakout over the period of consolidation getting out of the chop and then what happens is we pull back they stop themselves out then the then the move comes later and then they miss it right and then now they're chasing at the top and then they're getting stopped out again so like i was kind of explaining today there was a point in time where on the five minute time frame it was like a 35 point risk using that one candle as a stop loss right if we were to use the one bar stop system which is a lot of risk, right? 35 points, I mean, you know, I'm not gonna sit here and argue that 35 points is not a lot of risk, but is it a lot of risk on one micro contract? I mean, what are we looking at? 65, 70 bucks of loss if, we, if, if that does happen, right? If we're playing two, what is that? 120, $140 maybe max, depending on where you get in and where you get out. So even if we're playing two contracts and we can stomach through a 30, 40 point, even 40 point, right? Uh, loss, you know, the max we're going to probably lose is like anywhere between 100 and 150 dollars on the trade. However, if we're able to capture 30, 40 points because we're able to sit in these moves a lot longer, we're going to make 100 bucks. We're going to make 200 dollars. We're going to get those, you know, moves that run 40, 50, 60 points. We're going to make two, three, four hundred dollars sometimes, right? So if we kind of realistically look at the move here, you know, we would have been entering into this uh, candle at around 724. Yes, we had to sit through a little bit of period of drawdown here for about five eight you know eight minutes or so but if we look at when we started to ramp up here your entry price would have been somewhere around that 15507 and in a matter of time between 724 and around 40 you know 40 to 45 minutes later we ran all the way up to a price of 15562 so if you kind of look at that that's at least a 50 point run up here even if you were playing one micro contract right if you're playing one micro contract and you took 50 points off it you took close to 100 dollars off that trade so if you had two contracts, you took close to, you know, $200 and so forth and so forth. You guys can just kind of do the math, right? But if you were trading, you know, multiple mini contracts and let's say you're on a prop form or even a personal account, you could have very, very well, uh, you know, been in liquidation territory here on this pullback. And realistically, there was nothing wrong with the move, right? We broke out, we put in that new high, we pulled back and then 
we continue to run. So this pullback, there's nothing wrong with that. This is natural, right? This is natural. Now let's kind of go over the 20 plays that set up here, right? So if we have the original low of day here, you know, around six in the morning Pacific Standard Time, we get our first setup here at 6.54 in the morning. So 6.54 in a two minute time frame closes below the 20 and the 200. And it goes from a price of 4.64 down to the most recent demand zone here, you know, at around 4.43. So there was a 20 point move here again, you know, depending on the type of trader you are, if you're going to use the 20 SMA scalp play system, you know, I would personally look for on the NQ anywhere between 15 and 20 points, 25 points, hold a runner, use break even as a stop. Here was the next short position setup that that uh, set up, however, never confirmed. Our long position, however, did confirm at 718, gave us our reason why. At 720 would have been our entry, and we would have actually been in on the initial move where we took the con uh, consolidation breakout here at 724. But if we would have got into this play, we would have taken this for a nice ride from 494 all the way up to 516. So this is about a 20 point move here as well. And, and if you're looking for that 15 to 20 point scalp and you're content with that based on your position sizing, you know, maybe you never ne even needed to sit through the drawdown and kind of wait for the end of the day. And when we pulled back into the 20 SMA here, we had a little bit of a catch play here. I, I would imagine that our next play out of this, right? If I'm analyzing this and I never took any of these other trades here, would have had to have come on this candlestick here. Why? Because I wanted to see the breakout over that new high that we put in. And once we do that breakout, again, we're going to use that one bar stop system. So even on this particular move here, you know, we're talking about 20 to 25 points worth of of risk so again when you're going into these scalp plays analyze the the bar that is giving you the the reason as to why you want to get into the trade and if it's 20 points you know how much risk do you want to lose if it's one micro you know you're going to lose 40 right if you're going to do two you might lose 80 if you're going to do three you're going to lose you know 120 130 and so forth and so forth guys that's how you're going to kind of identify how much how many contracts should you actually be playing it's going to be based on where your stop loss is going to be set what I want you guys to do is to be able to stomach the whole move. Like in this particular case, we need to be able to be sized correctly so that even if it does close below the 20 period moving average and we get stopped out, it's not going to devastate us, right? So again, if we're going to get in on this candle, the only reason, and I was explaining this on the live stream, why I would not have used a one bar stop is because the 20 SMA is so close, right? The last thing I'm going to want to do is get stopped out on a one bar only to see it catch up the 20 SMA and continue to run, right? So again, in this particular case here, if we're going to take this breakout, right? If we're going to take this breakout at 724 in the morning, what's the stop loss if we close below the 20 SMA? That's what you have to deal with. So again, I don't really care if you trade five contracts, right? If you trade five contracts all the time, and, and you don't want to stomach that loss, then you need to go down, play one, play two, play three. I don't really care. Whatever, however many contracts you're playing is based on, so you can be in the move until you absolutely get stopped out because the chart is telling you it's time to get out, or you can sit through drawdown and at least catch the move when the move starts to work in your favor. I, I hope this video helps you guys. Again, if you guys are interested in joining Evolution Traders, becoming a lifetime member, um, definitely check the link down below in the description or check my community post or, you know, comment to me, email me. I don't, you know, it doesn't really matter how you guys get in contact with me. I'll uh, get you guys all set up there so we can get on, get you guys on that live trading in, in, in the chat room. And so you guys can see all the levels that we're doing intraday, but I'll see you guys all in the next video.